Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Delta Murph coming in with those likes. What's up, man? How you been, sir? Welcome in. <laughs> We're not going to waste too much time in this game, uh, getting in. What happened? Uh, so just want to let you give you an update. Uh, my game crashed and it deleted. So I had to restart. And so we're getting back at it. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Well, yes, I am the new student. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been Samantha eager to meet you. Samantha Dale. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Oh, yeah? I hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again... He tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. All right. Revelio. Revelio. Peace was in a mood the other day. And then the werewolves joined the goblins Goblin in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the minister... Accurate. We'll get that one. Oh, oh, fun. I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, please. Yeah, I really wish I knew how to <coughs> solve this. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight. It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flat? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a smack. She Yo, Brandon Keller coming in with the likes and the shares. Play. What's up, my guy? How you been? Enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Black, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Once I figure out how to solve those, it'll be much easier. Dad, if, if, if any of you have solved those, let me know. So we gotta go to the map, side quest, open, track the mission, there, I'm doing good, I'm doing good, sir. Super Bowl is Sunday, hey, what are you doing, what are you doing Sunday, do you wanna uh, come over and watch the Super Bowl? See if anybody else wants to come over and watch the Super Bowl. <coughs> I might not be able to take you home, but definitely come hang out. Alrighty, what's up, Chad? How's everybody doing today? You yeah, if you're just popping in, if you can spam that reaction button. Hit that heart, or uh, spam the heart react, that'd be greatly appreciated. How nice to see you, Ooh. my young friend. Nice to see you too. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. Yeah, they they went okay. I learned as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. That he did. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Uh, no professor. Nothing more. No professor. I see. <laughs> you want me to send a message out? Uh, I'm out. Yeah, see if the crew wants to come out. Yeah, go for it. What you've learned. Go for it. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. 
In fact, Professor oh, yeah? Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Ooh. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. Oh, yeah? And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but I'm gonna have the, the I'm gonna have the biggest wand, wand in Hogwarts. Far superior. Like it's gonna be massive. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. That's I've so. never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall oh, explain yeah. more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Transfiguration magic. Ooh. I gotta <laughs> plug up my watch before I forget. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? Jay Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Ooh. Sounds kind of... nerve-wracking. Okay, that one's not working. Bear with me, chat. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Theophilus Harlow. Once you finish Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to <coughs> waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. A butt of beer at the three broomstick. Sounds great and lovely. All right, here we go. Oh, my hair's all messed up. There we go. Let's run. Lumos. Let's see. My wand's not that big right now. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. Sweet. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. 
Yes, sir. What's up, chat? How's everybody doing? This is the right area. Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Might some kind soul help me? Um, not yet. If only a new student were to help me with my Revelio. Here. Here we are. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Not what I wanted to press. I need to go here. Lumos. I don't know about demigods. Oh, what am I missing? Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> we'll get some exploring done. Don't worry. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Uh, the famous Hogwarts Garden. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Rebellion. Oh, 
Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Oh, interesting. Look at that beautiful view. Look! From the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder oh, look at those hippogriffs. Them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. A castle? Look at that castle. Absolutely. Woo! Oh! Sorry, right, I got distracted. The castle that I almost went into the water. Here, we'll stop right here. Get a good look at that ca uh, castle. <laughs> Such a beautiful, beautiful view. All right, let's go. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think forbidden that forest. It forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. There's Hogsmeade. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. There's the... Infamous How railroad tracks. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. Right, look at this view right here. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Back here. What is back here? Akio. I'm coming. I can't. Your butt back here. Let me also. Oh, that's pretty cool. God, coming in with those likes. What's up, Scott? Mr. Moon. What are you doing, sir? Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Arian, mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Well, if you've never seen him in that such a state, that's concerning. That is concerning, lady. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you.
Here we are, good old Hugsby. And here we are. Hey, it is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. I will. <laughs> Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Okay. Well, let's go get our wand. Look at that first. Since we are right here. Well, it blew me dead. Not again. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this but real of quick. of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh... No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Hmm. Here, ten and a half inches. Give this one a try. Powerful core. <laughs> well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Yeah, that's what she says. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh. <laughs> that one got a little too excited. <laughs> for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um... That's what she said. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. All right, we're going to create our... <laughs> Our wand. How intriguing. Mm, oh, wow. <laughs> Ring. <laughs> Curious indeed. Intriguing.
Uh, indeed. <laughs> Soft spiral. How intriguing. Notch. El Natural. No. Curious indeed. No. How intriguing. Go the natural. No. no. <laughs> oh, this is one. I think we're gonna have to go with this one. No. No, no, it was this one. It was this one. Yep, this is what we're gonna have to go with. How intriguing. Wood type. Cherry wood, cedar wood, beech wood, ash, adler. Yes, indeed. The woo wood, willow wood, pine wood. Bruce, silver lime, redwood, pine wood. Curious indeed. English oak, elm tree. Go with the willow wood. How or no, pine wood. Pine wood, yeah. We're gonna go for the 14 and a half incher. <laughs> 14 and a half inch of pine. Curious Fairly bendy. Or quite bendy. Fairly bendy. Very flexible. Quite flexible. How intriguing. <laughs> surprisingly, surprisingly switch, switch. I can't do this. Wishy. indeed. Slightly springy. Supple? Reasonably supple. <laughs> supple. What? How whippy. Ooh, it's a whippy. Brittle? We don't want brittle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. Curious indeed. <laughs> Unbending. How intriguing. I'll let... I'm gonna have to go stiff. Great range of magic. Powerful magic. With the phoenix ah, feather. Phoenix feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Oh, man. Is that it? That is. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. 
Do come and see me again if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay, sir. Thank you for my 14 and a half incher. Alright, so let's see where we go now. Uh let's go get let's go get our hairs cut. Need to lighten the hair up a little bit. There it is, my 14 and a half incher. The biggest one in in Hogwarts. Hey ladies, you wanna see my wand? Fourteen and a half inches. Hey, I got a fourteen and a half inch one. We're sipping your tea. Apparently, size doesn't matter here. <laughs> oh, I can make this so perverted. It, it, it's great. Right. <laughs> Oh man, what's up, Jim? <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this chat. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly. Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? <laughs> what services do you offer, lady? Bucks can't have beards. I can't get it. Uh... Too bright. They're about right.
<laughs> Karen! <laughs> Looking at them all. I mean, I can do that. Kind of neutral. Let's go with that. Gonna visit here. Huh. Have a spot tea. Revelio. Come through here. Apparently not. Okay. Go here first. Workout in, you know. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients, even Pippin purchases from me. But. What say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. Yeah. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. All right.
Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Revelio. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank What's you. up, Chad? How's everybody doing today? I heard the bell. I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake. They are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Uh, I guess what I'm here for. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Uh, I'll not right come now. Come back another time if you're in a Thank rush you. today. Thank you. Thank you. There, go do there. <laughs> Check this out. I can, it, it, you'll never know when, when my wand's gonna strike. Never know. Pow! Yeah, see. Thing to have in the village. Hogsley is very fortunate to have a Look at that thing. An inquiring mind. Whip it. Whip it Pardon good. Me, sir. I'm here for the spell crafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown, I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting let's... table and a potion station. Yes? Let's do it. I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Thank you. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Told you, you'll never know when it strikes. The ministry's good work. Ah. 
shield. Repair us. Accio. Revelio. Levioso. Lumos. Repair. Accio. Revelio. Already been here. My first ah. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> We should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Let's go! Akira, are we weakening him at all? Keep Lewis. at it! We have to let him down! Yeah, I'm gonna beat you with my 14 incher. How you like that? We get the job done. Hey! Let's Get here, asshole! What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. Ow! Do more of it. Oh! Couple hits of my 14 incher. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, 
Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And officer Singer. Again. Yeah, let me just repair with my ninth, my 14 incher. A moment if you would. I will see what he wants. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Get a cat. Repower. Just talking about you. Well, now you want to talk to me. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Yeah. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. I see. It's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, 
I've earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Very well. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. Hey, Natty. She is a charming hostess hey, and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Natty, you want to see Lumos. my... Lumos. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> uh, uh, no time, man. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Lumos. You want to see my, you want to see my, uh, my wand? 14 inches. Dip pine. 14 inches dip pine. Does that sound like something you're interested in? I am certainly glad Serona was there. 
and that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. See me. I discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Can't catch me! Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Tradition in my family. Revelio. Rebellion. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Levioso. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels across once. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. 
And whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Protego! <laughs> Stupid fight! Can bring Let down. me answer! Give him a call! Stupid fight! Let me answer! Akio! Is that all you've got? Stupid fight! Can bring down! Let me answer! Protego! Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong yeah, yeah. Ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first crossed ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Just wait till I've grown a bit. Then we'll see how well you do. Oh, I've been swinging that big rock, oh, wand. Swinging it around and around. Lumos.
I'll be so happy about Jarvis. Rebellion. Oh, when they ask you a question now, isn't it? Grubby little faces. I'll just die. Uh, okay. And number, okay. A hundred and forty two staircases. Sometimes I'm not fully sure. Like a lot of staircases. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back. I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. Jeffrey coming in with those likes. What's up, Jeffrey?
Look, chat. Lumos. One big wand. It's got a, it's got a uh, glowing tip like Rudolph. Might some kind soul help me? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Oak, the girl. Everyone hates you. Because Hogwarts is full of bullies, I wanted to make some new... F my gobstone collection, that is. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Gra I haven't much interest in a game that... Only... <sighs> um, and now the... Sounds as if... I'll see what I... Sorry, I was only doing that because I've already done that. Before, uh, already done that. Before I crashed my game. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio. I've always said that travel. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! Levioso! Here's the infamous staircase. Repairo. Accio.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. <laughs> Off on another adventure, are we? Repair room. Accio. the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck.
Perhaps I'll come back to this. How inconvenient. Accio! Ah, I believe we have some... I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds... Uh... Versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Professor, could you remind me what I'm to do before I can learn Incendio? Certainly. Complete the list of tasks I provided. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. What are you up to now? Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as time. Ready for another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Glad you're back. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Ah. 
shield. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Pretty good. Stupid one. Levioso. Accurate. Arresto, momentum. I take a winner. Stupid one. Levioso. Accurate. Fill up with your best of that. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished. Nice to see you, my young friend.
I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to... I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Good work. Incendium. Try not to incinerate yourself. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. 
Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So... Why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative? Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. than a job or not. Is some court? Whoops, gotta redo.
panicked. All right, chat, we're going to hop up here. Uh, we're going to try this again uh, another time. Y'all have a good night. Have a uh, safe weekend because tomorrow's Friday. I will be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure what time, but we're going to get it in. So take care. Have a good night.